In the 24th of February 2021, Malaysia started the COVID-19 immunization drive and vaccinated 60 individuals with the Pfizer vaccine. Afterwards, other brands of vaccines including Sinovac and AstraZeneca were also used. However, there is a group of people who are reluctant to take the vaccines, mainly due to the concern of potential adverse effects. They are commonly labeled as anti-vaxxer and are often perceived negatively or even discriminatively by the public. The rejection of vaccination can be caused by many factors. For example, there are a lot of so-called experts on social media sharing false and negative information about the vaccines. For people who are not from the relevant field, it is difficult to differentiate the correct and false information. Besides, there are also many people who share their experience of vaccine adverse effects in public or private groups. This gives the impression that adverse effects from vaccine is common. As the official data regarding the adverse effects of vaccines were not available, it is understandable that many will reject the vaccines or sitting on the fence. This makes the effort to achieve herd immunity much harder. By the 6th of September 2021, the Ministry of Health has finally shared the raw data of vaccines adverse effects on GitHub. We immediately process the data and incorporate it into our MHA app. You can access the app by scanning this QR code or via the link in the description of this video. In this video, we will show you how to interpret the figures that we show in the MHA app. The adverse effects that occur after taking vaccines is known as adverse effects following immunization, AEFI. We divided the AEFI into six categories, non-serious, serious, acute facial paralysis, myopericarditis, suspected anaphylaxis and venous thromboembolism. Acute facial paralysis is also known as Bell's palsy, which is a condition where the muscles of the face are paralyzed. It usually affects one side of the face and is a temporary condition for most people, lasting a few weeks to six months. However, a very small number of people may continue to have some residual symptoms for life. Most people will recover without any treatment, but if treatment is needed, the common options will be steroid, surgery or physiotherapy. Myopericarditis is the inflammation of heart muscle and the outer lining of the heart. The symptoms of myopericarditis include chest pain, shortness of breath and having a fast beating, fluttering or pounding heart. Fortunately, most patients with myopericarditis will respond well to treatment and recover quickly. Venous thromboembolism is the formation of blood clots in veins and symptoms can occur within 30 days after taking the vaccine. If venous thromboembolism is diagnosed, the patients could also be treated accordingly. This figure compares the number of people with or without AEFI. Blue color represents people who did not have any AEFI while red color represents people with AEFI. It is obvious that AEFI is quite rare, especially for Sinovac. If AEFI occur, how many cases of it will actually be serious? In this figure, green color represents non-serious cases while blue color represents serious cases. It is clear that most AEFI are non-serious. Besides, the cases of facial paralysis, myopericarditis, suspected anaphylaxis and venous thromboembolism are so rare that we can't see them clearly in this figure. Finally, let's compare each brand of vaccine for their probability to trigger AEFI. We will use Pfizer as the standard and compare Sinovac and AstraZeneca against it. Besides, our comparison is carried out by calculating odds ratio, which is the best way to do the comparison. This is the formula used to calculate the odds ratio. The advantage of using this method is that our comparison will not be affected by the population size. If you have not done so, we recommend you to view our previous video to understand why population size will affect the interpretation of results. In this figure, the horizontal line at the value of 1 represents the probability of Pfizer to trigger AEFI. Blue color bullet represents Sinovac while red color bullet represent AstraZeneca. In most cases, we can see that AstraZeneca and Sinovac both have lower chance to trigger AEFI except for venous thromboembolism that has a higher chance to be triggered by AstraZeneca. In general, Sinovac seems to have lower chance to trigger AEFI than Pfizer and AstraZeneca. In conclusion, we should not reject vaccine due to AEFI because of the following reasons. The probability for AEFI to occur is much lower than the probability of contracting COVID-19. Even if AEFI do occur, they are most likely to be non-serious. Even if serious AEFI occur, most of them can be treated. Finally, 
Even though the vaccines have different probability to trigger AEFI, their difference is very small and should not be the reason that you choose one brand over the other. It should be noted that another common reason for rejecting vaccine is due to the doubt of vaccine's ability to prevent death. In our next video, we will compare the amount of protection from each brand of vaccine. If you are interested in this, please subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified when our video is ready. Your subscription will promote our videos so that more people will be able to receive correct information regarding COVID-19 and other health analytics. If you are interested in health analytics and wish to get a degree in it, this is the course that we recommend. Thank you.